I'm Karen Eisert, and it's time for our Christy Clinic Medical Minute. I'm here with Dr. Whitney Gutierrez, and we're talking about food allergies today. So starting off, what is a food allergy? So a food allergy is an abnormal response to certain food. They can be serious and life-threatening in some cases, and they're actually quite common. It's estimated that up to 35 million Americans are affected by food allergies, and up to 5% of children. Wow. So what are some of those common food allergens? So the most common ones that we always think about are peanuts, but also eggs, milk, wheat, uh, shellfish, fish, and even sesame. How, and how do you go about diagnosing these? Well, the most important thing is that if you think you might have a food allergy, that you should go to your doctor and get it checked out. There's different tests that can be done. If you suspect you have a food allergy and begin cutting out foods, um, it's possible that you are not actually allergic and it can make things a lot harder in terms of what foods you can eat and not eat. Yeah, so what are ways that we can avoid these allergens? Um, so the most important thing would be just reading food labels. Companies do a pretty nice job of listing what the possible allergens are, and then also they can list if there's any possible cross-contamination, or often they'll say, this was produced in a factory with other nuts or tree nuts, and so in that case, you might want to stay away from it. If you're dining out, then checking with the waiter just to see if it's possible to prepare the food without any food allergens, and if not, um, then asking for something else. Definitely some very important tips that you shared with us today. This has been your Christie Clinic Medical Minute.